channel today with me i have crompton high breeze pedestal fan as you can see in the previous video i've showed you little bit around the fan but today we'll be doing a full service of the fan so let's switch it on can see how powerful the airflow is it made the high flow fly so now we'll go, we'll be tearing it down giving it a good wash change the noisy bearings and fix the next set of issues so let's start tear down So guys, as you can, as you can see, I've torn down the fan completely to pieces. So I'll wash all of this, let dry, and in the meantime, we'll tear down the motor, change the bearings, assemble it good back, and we'll see the performance. So as you can see, most of the parts here. This is a thread fit, which is very good, industrial grade, very strong as well. Great choice by Crompton. And I'll remove this upper base plate as well, wash it. And yeah, so let's start the teardown of the motor. So guys, as you can see, the fan is finally torn down. So this is the rotor assembly. So I'm not, this is 6202 or 03 bearing. As this is shaft fitted, I'll take it to my winding guy and ask him to replace using bearing pullers. And to remove the shaft, First, you need to unscrew this and remove this gear and then it comes out from the back body as you can see and this is the winding I'm not sure how many plates this is but very powerful winding so I'll ask one of my friends and I'll put it in the description or in the caption what the poles of these are so now let's get the bearings changed and I'll be back okay, as you can see the bearings are replaced I have put SKF 6201 rubber seal bearing, sorry 6202 rubber seal bearing. So uh, previous was a AKS branded, it was damaged and beyond repair. So as you can see the replacement SKF, it's in proper condition as you can see. So now let's clean everything up and we'll assemble the motor, put, grease the gearbox as well. You know as you can see the grease is almost gone bad. So yeah. So guys, as these are rubber seal bearings, the seals are easy to remove and put back. So I've removed the seals and you can see there is less amount of grease. So it is mandatory that you grease the bearings. So I have Castrol premium grease and I'll grease both the bearings, seal it up and it will be good to go for long term. So as you guys can see, the bearing is greased. It's not the best grease job, but after I seal it, I'll clean all the mess up. So let's get the bearings ready and let's start assembly. Guys, as you can see, the cleaning is completely done. The stuff is drying. So till then, let's start assembling the motor. So as you guys can see fan is almost assembled only i need to fix that cover this cover the front fascia plate that's it yes you can see i put a brand new tipcon 2.5 microfarad capacitor even oil capacitor even though the old one was good i decided as i've changed the bearings and all it's better to replace it once and for all you can see smooth no sound 
I'll assemble it completely and I'll show you a performance. You see I've greased the gearbox as well, so no issue right there, as you can see. So yeah, let's finish the assembly. So as you guys can see, the fan is finally assembled completely. Every bit and piece has been put to place. So you can see the front cardboard cover. It is bigger size and fixed more better. And you can see blades are more cleaner than before. You can see quarter pin is back. All the stuff is tight. The wires, all the screws. You can see the regulator. And the oscillation knob. So let's turn it on and take a performance test. Awesome noiseless performance. The bearing noise is gone. There is some slight crackling that will get fixed automatically. Oscillation works as required. Let's switch it off. Spin down time is very less due to the tight bearings. After few days of usage, it will free up no matter. So, Okay, so in the pictures I removed the gearbox and removed the worm gear in between. As you can see inside, it's just the shaft, the big gear is gone. It's in this cover. And now let me close this and I'll show you how much noiseless the motor has become. As you saw I removed the main gear, the worm gear on the shaft and I fixed the gearbox back as dummy so that I don't misplace the gearbox and lose it. I'm not trying to convey that the gearbox is back from factory as this fan is a 2004 fan, it's almost 20 years old. So you can expect wear and tear to happen and someone, the previous owners definitely have meshed with the gearbox else it would be trouble free. Now let's switch it on and see the performance. It should be flawless. As you guys can see, there's no weird noises. All the weird sounds from the gearbox are completely gone. The main load of the bad gear on the new bearings is gone. The new SKF bearings will last a fortune. So guys that's it for today, I hope you like the servicing video of this fan, please like, share, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.